So heart, here is the RC racing car. Now, something interesting is that it shows you a drift storm car on one side. Multiplayer's full function, it says. I'm like, what? And then on this side, it also says multiplayer's full function. 2.4 gigahertz. Now, I understand that this one is this one. So if this thing is pre-charged, you will get to see what it's like. If not, this is an unboxing video and I will let you know what the outcome was. So let's um, go ahead and take the tape off right here. There we go. And then take off the tape right here. And there you go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's like tape all over this thing. Okay, okay. Oh, look at that. Completely missed that. So, there are a million different versions of this. Okay, so there's these guys right here. And this one is the red one of the sports variety. There's the information, specifications for each type. So this one is the 118 2.4 gigahertz multiplayer's four wheel drive, 28 minutes, 50 minutes. Oh, so it lasts longer than these other ones. Oh, that's interesting. And then we've got some stuff written in all kinds of different languages, basically choking hazard information. And then I'm gonna get into this piece of tape as well. And open this up. So we've got, oh geez, a lot going on here. So it looks like this is the battery pack. And this comes with two rings, a plug. Looks like it's a USB-A. And then it has these little cones. Looks like there's a set of four of them. And then this is your instruction sheet for your operation manual. So there's, oh, it thinks there's one battery, but I see two. Okay, cool. So then there's one remote controller, one USB cable, one manual. Looks like I'm going to need a screwdriver for this. And then it looks like the remote control is going to possibly, yeah, it's going to need two AA batteries. Maybe that's why there's that other battery, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see if it actually connects to that. And then this. Okay, so this is in another language, and then this one is in English. Maintenance and repair, precautions. Warm-up tips. There's that information there. So this is... Oh, there's the car. So it's attached to the base of this, which it looks like this has been ripped up. So I guess we're just going to rip it the rest of the way. Oh, this is one of those things where you're supposed to unscrew it. There you go. Okay, so this is a really basic, cheap plastic frame. This is not metal. This is plastic. This has two lights on the front. This one's kind of popping out a little bit. It's got some little plastic parts. So this is very fragile plastic. This thing is basically going to last for a hot minute and then it's going to be destroyed. Just putting that out there. Oh, it's already in the on position. And then it's got the little wheels. It looks like they're kind of shallow. 
and then it has an on and off switch and it looks like to get to the battery you have to unscrew it here and then you press these little levers back and then this I don't know why that's there yeah this doesn't move so I don't know what that's for but you put that in there and I it looks like that's it like that's just it for this and then for this controller part you have to undo it okay so this is made out of very flimsy plastic it makes a little click noise as you try to move the wheel. And then there's a little trigger here. So I guess that's how you move it forward and backward. So let's screw here. I'm not quite sure what this goes to. And then it's got a little antenna here. And then you have an on and off switch. Which would turn the light on here. And I guess this is forward and backward. And then you just hold it like this. And then turn it. So this is left hand trigger, right hand driving. And I guess the battery pack is here and you would unscrew this and put that in there. So I will let you know in the review if this other battery pack goes in there or if I had to actually put AA batteries in there in order to get it to work. But yeah, so it looks like it's, it's, not, it's not metal, it's very lightweight. So grant you that might be a good thing. But it's uh, this plastic is the kind that if you were to drop this, you might actually get a crack in it. It's it's not a very high quality grade plastic, but it looks like it's a lot of fun. And then it looks like it's got some lights in the front that actually work. I don't know about any rear lights. Yeah, I don't see any, but just in the front. So yeah, and yeah, so there you go.